Hi, I'm Dan Smith. I'm one of the physiotherapists at Swinford Hospital. Today we're having a look at some exercises you can do for some shoulder stability and shoulder girdle work using uh, an exercise band. So we've got one attached to the wall here. Um, first sequence that we're going to look at is variations of retracting your shoulder blades behind you. We're going to look at three angles. We're going to start with the band in front, holding a good grip in front. We're going to come up and outwards in the first movement, squeezing the shoulder blades together and slowly back, controlled. The second variation we're going to do at shoulder level, separating the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades behind, keeping good posture, not moving your neck around as we go. And the third variation coming down low, Again, squeezing the shoulder blades at the end of the movement, keeping good upright posture throughout. One. And the same three shoulder girdle movements from behind, taking the band upwards, squeezing the shoulder blades together. At shoulder height. And with a downward angle. And the next exercise we're going to look at is a low row with the band. What's important here is we're going to use the muscles between the shoulder blades to squeeze together as we pull back with the elbows, keeping the arms roughly parallel to the floor. And as we straighten the elbows, we're going to be careful not to round and raise the shoulders into a poor posture position there. But we're going to use the muscles between the shoulder blades, squeezing them throughout to keep the posture strong. And again, your low row exercise from behind. Then we're pulling back, keeping the elbows parallel to the floor keeping the elbows bent and straight forward. What we're not doing is pulling the band downwards, but we're coming straight back and forward. Hi, I'm Dan Smith. I'm one of the physios at Scunthorpe Hospital. And today we're looking at some exercises for the upper body with a pair of dumbbells. We're going to start with a nice easy shoulder exercise. So we're going to bring the dumbbells up to the front of the body to around shoulder height and slowly back down again with control. We can do these both together or one at a time. And the important thing when working with your dumbbells is looking after the rest of your posture so you haven't chosen a weight that's so heavy you feel you have to swing, but we've got control all the way through. Then we can go sideways, focusing a little bit more on the muscles on the outside of the shoulder, raising again to about shoulder level, a little rotation on the hands as we come to level with the shoulders, and back down to the start. Next we're going to look at a shoulder press. So we're going to start with the dumbbells at around shoulder height and we're going to straighten the elbows overhead and back down to shoulder height. Again we can go one at a time or both together. We're going to move on to an upright row working the trapezius muscle which is at the top of the back and the top of the shoulders. I'm going to raise the dumbbells up to around chest height, elbows coming high and relaxing back down again. Control all the way through the exercise so we're not leaning backwards and we're not letting the weights drop in front and up, but a good controlled posture all the way through. A 
An alternative way of doing shoulder stability work is to work with your own body weight. We're going to look at a couple of exercises here. We're going to come into your hands and knees position to begin with. So we've got hands flat on the floor, got wrists roughly below shoulders, and back's nice and flat. From that position, we're going to do some shoulder taps first of all, so we're transferring weight to touch the opposite shoulder. The focus on this exercise is to make sure that the rest of your body isn't moving around so that your shoulder has to be stable and it's not allowing you to move around when you've taken the supporting structure of the other arm away. To make this a little bit harder, we can go into a full press up position and it's exactly the same exercise. The next shoulder stability exercise we'll look at in this position is a row movement, sometimes known as a renegade row. And again, we're going to lift one arm up, keeping in good alignment, not rotating the body. Now we can do alternate arms or the same arm. And similarly, we can make this a little harder by going to your full press up movement with the same and the next progression on with your press ups is to move away from the wall and to start to take a little bit of body weight down onto the floor we're going to start in a kneeling position all the same rules apply with your hand positioning so we're going to keep the elbows in the straight line and keep hands roughly in line with your shoulders. We're going to bend the elbows, bring your chest towards the floor, and back up again. Remembering that it's a press up and we're not moving the back, so it's a nice straight back, we're not arching the back or moving forwards. Nice straight line, chest to the floor. And then the next progression on with the press up is to go into the full press up position feet straight, knees straight, back in line and all the same rules apply for the upper body. So keeping the elbows in line, lowering the chest to the floor and straightening up again. Again we're not arching the back, we're not shifting the weight backwards, sticking your bum in the air or lowering your hips to the floor with a nice straight line down. 